Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Oklahoma Hall of Fame and Gaylord Pickens Museum's virtual summer Thursdays. We want to take a quick minute to thank our sponsors with the Chickasaw Nation and the Inasmuch Foundation that make free family programming in 2020 possible. We're so happy you guys could join us today for Under the Sea Day. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. As you guys know, this is our awesome building located here in Midtown, Oklahoma City. We love this building and we love everything that we get to do in it with all of you guys. We can't wait till we can all be together again and um, celebrate some new and exciting programs and exhibits that we've installed over this time. As you guys know, our mission is to tell Oklahoma's story through its people. So today I wanna to share the story of Oklahoma Hall of Fame member, Admiral Joseph Clark. So Admiral Clark graduated from U.S. Naval Academy in 1917. He received his Naval Aviator Rings in 1925. And in 1980, a ship was commissioned by the United States Navy and was named the USS Clark in his honor. All right, so we're gonna jump right into story time. With Under the Sea Day, we get to read one of our favorite stories called The Rainbow Fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and share this with you guys so we can read the story together. All right, so we're gonna jump right in with the rainbow fish. Has anyone ever read this? This is one of my favorite stories. Okay. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. Do you guys see how pretty all of his scales are? The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. Look at all of his shiny scales. Do you think he's going to give one to him? I see. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. He doesn't have any friends anymore. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest, loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish, but if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. Do you guys see the octopus? I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into, the, into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales, never. How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. That was nice of him, wasn't it? 
The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at least felt at home among the other fish. Look how pretty everyone is with all of their shining scales. Okay. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. All right, and there's rainbow fish with his one shining scale left going on his way to play with all of his friends now that he shared with them. All right, so what a great story is that. We're gonna go ahead and get our crafts. Today we're gonna make our own rainbow fish. So out of your craft kit, I want you guys to get the envelope that says under the sea on it. You're going to need your small paper plate out of here. There we go. We're going to need crowns and a glue stick. All right. I'm going to get my glue dots out in case I need those too. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and empty my envelope here. All of my pieces slide on out. Perfect, okay. And confetti went everywhere, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna make sure we have all of our pieces here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out first because these are my fins. Okay, I'm gonna slide my confetti over here. Okay, here we go, okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to flip our plate over like this. So it looks upside down. Okay, so now we're going to color our plate. Our plate is going to be our fish. And then we're going to color our fins too. So you can make your fish look however you want to. I'm going to color mine blue like the fish in the story. Color yours whatever color you guys want to because it's a rainbow fish, right? So it can be all different colors. All right. Then we're going to color our fins too. I think I'm going to do my fins different colors. Okay. I get the edge. Okay, now that my fish is colored, I'm gonna go ahead and color my fins. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna color my fins different colors. I think I want a red one. Green's my favorite color, so I'm gonna do two green ones. Okay, you guys getting those all colored? And one yellow one. Okay, we are now ready to glue our fins down. So we're gonna glue our fins down first, and I will show you where all of your fins go. So you're gonna glue one on the back here, that's our tail. And we'll glue it down just like that, or we can glue it under the plate like that. We're gonna do one down here. Oh, wrong one. This one goes up here. Like that. 
that. That and like that. All right, so we're gonna glue those down. So the easiest way to glue these down is to put glue, take your glue stick, and I want you to put glue right here on the edge of it. And then you're just gonna lay the plate on top and press down like that. All right, see, now we've got a tail on. So we're gonna do the same thing with our other pieces. So we're gonna put glue on the edge here, just like that. And press down. And squeeze that one pretty tight. Uh-oh, we lost a tail. That's okay. There we go. All right, and the same with our other two fins here, just like this. Go. I'm going to attach this last one and then we'll be able to decorate him. All right, there are our fins all on perfect. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attach my googly eye. And this is going to be a little bit easier with a glue dot. So go ahead and get one of those. All right, I'm just going to put it on the back of the eye like that. And it peels right off, and we're going to stick our eye onto our fish. And it's okay if the plate bends in like that, it'll just pop right up. Okay, so the next thing we need is our fish needs a mouth, right? Our fish needs to eat. So I'm going to make a mouth right here, and I'm just going to draw it. It's a little bit harder to see. Do you see that green? the green edge right here. I just made it a little triangle. I'll trace it in red, maybe that'll. There we go, you can see the red. Perfect, so now we have a mouth for our fish. Okay, so now we get to put all of the rainbows on it, all the rainbow shiny sequins. So I'm just gonna take my sequin and I'm gonna put glue on the back of it, just like that and then place those wherever I want to on my fish. And you can use as many or as few as you want to. All right, so see how I'm just putting the glue on? Perfect, just like that. There we go. You can even put the glue on the plate if you would write, if that's easier. So you can do these however you want to. You can put some on the tail if you want. Okay, guys, everyone getting those sequins on? Look how pretty our fish is turning out. All right, so I think that's all the sequins I want on my fish, and now we have our very own rainbow fish. I will turn this around so you guys can see it. I think they turned out great. What do you guys think? Look, and now it's like it's swimming through the ocean. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. We can't wait to see you again next week for Safari Day, and we hope to see you all in person soon. Bye.